Well, my name is Bonnie Dunbar. I'm an astronaut at NASA, assistant director for University Research and Affairs, and an engineer. What brought me into technology and into engineering specifically was the space program, space exploration. I was just a little girl when Sputnik was launched. My parents and I, who lived on a ranch in eastern Washington state, went out and looked for this very first satellite. That, along with the literature that I was reading, science fiction by H.G. Wells and Jules Verne, really brought me into the excitement of space exploration. It was from that that I wanted to study math and science and be a part of this brand new frontier. Along the way, I had teachers who really stimulated me and, and supported that dream. My eighth grade teacher who suggested algebra to me, my high school physics teacher who suggested physics. And when I became an engineering student at the University of Washington, it was Dr. James I. Muller who supported me through all my career in terms of wanting to be an astronaut and working in space exploration. I am here not just because of desire, but because I've been very fortunate to have people all along the way that helped me, men and women, who supported my dream and helped me to be where I am. I am very grateful to them. And where I am sitting now is an engineer still, but having flown five space flights for about a total of 50 days, the first in 1985, working on a mission that was uh, totally supported by Germany, a space lab microgravity research mission, on through a docking with a long duration exposure facility, bringing that back to Earth. And I had the opportunity to work the remote manipulator system to my third mission as payload commander of United States Microgravity Lab Flight. It was a Pathfinder flight for the International Space Station with a number of research facilities on it. This was 1992. To the first docking flight to the Russian Mir Space Station, where I also had the opportunity to train in Star City for a year. And finally, my fifth flight two years ago in 1998, the eighth docking flight to the Mir Space Station. For the last two years, I've been heavily involved in establishing closer relationships to the university community in terms of research and different cooperative agreements, and outreaching back to the very community that I used to be a part of, the students. I'm proud to be part of exploration in space. It has helped me a great deal. I think that technology, whether you look back to the formation of the wheel and the very first instruments, or you look to the next millennia and where we may go to other planets is always a part of our lives. It not only stretches our imagination and acquires new knowledge, but it helps us live better lives here on the Earth. And I'm very proud to be a part of it. Thank you for this honor.